Nuno Tenlimus Apoga talks about fatherhood and finally starting to enjoy being an all black. Nuno Tenlimus Apoga talks about fatherhood and finally starting to enjoy being an all black. Sapoga has been named to start at first five against the Wallabies in Brisbane this Saturday. New Dad Lima Sapoga sees life through a different lens. Rugby is important, and he has a big job coming up in Brisbane on Saturday night, but it's not as massive a deal as being a parent, he says. Sapoga, who will start at first 5 8 for the All Blacks against the Wallabies at Suncorp Stadium because Buden Barrett was ruled out in the wake of a recent concussion became a father for the first time when partner Miriam gave birth to daughter Mila last month. Saturday's game will be Sopoig's 13th appearance in black, but just his second start. Sopoga, 26, was supposed to appear against Argentina in Buenos Aires on October 1, for what would have been his first run-on start in over two years but withdrew from the trip so he could remain in New Zealand. Some things are bigger than rugby. I would have missed three or four games for my daughter and how special that was, Sapoga said. Lima Sapoga will shoulder the goal-kicking responsibilities against the Wallabies in Brisbane. It is pretty rewarding. It keeps you grounded and reminds you that football isn't the be-all and end-all and that there is life out there after football. It is probably the best thing that has ever happened to me. This match against an Aussie signed feverish to avenge their last gasp 35-29 defeat to the All Blacks in Dunedin on August 26, after Barrett scored a try at the death to secure the Bled is Lou Cup marks an important milestone in Sapoaga's career. It will be his 13th appearance in black, but just his second start. His first run-on game was in his debut against the Springboks in Johannesburg in late July 2015. Like most new parents Sapoga is having to deal with the art of dealing with broken sleep patterns. Being stationed in the team's hotel in central Brisbane means he can at least catch up on some extra shut-eye. And having mastered the art of learning to be more relaxed in the test squad should result in a more restful build-up. When he joined the squad a couple of years ago Sapogo was initially scared of being late for scheduled appointments. He said it could be daunting being the fresh face and getting everywhere early helped reduce the anxiety. Now he is more relaxed. Just trying to get comfortable in this environment, in my own skin. I guess that is what has happened over time. That you can learn to be yourself here and really start to enjoy actually being in all black. Most first-year players want to get to meetings 20 minutes beforehand, or get on the bus nice and early. To be fair I think it is just natural. All Blacks coach Steve Hansen, while acknowledging Sapoga has a different playing style to Barrett, said there was no chance of the side changing their patterns to accommodate the new playmaker. Sapoga was confident and ready to go, Hansen said. The uncapped Richie Mangla will stay with the squad as emergency cover in case Sapoga is injured or ill before kickoff. Growing up, Sapoga said he looked up to Dan Carter and Aaron Cruden. Later he trained alongside them. It can take a while for some young players to master the knack of believing in their own talents around the big stars. Sapoga was no different. You are playing or training alongside guys that you grew up watching or idolized on TV. So for a young kid coming in, I guess you're just in complete awe of some of the guys. And then you forget, maybe sometimes, that you can actually play football as well and that is why you have been picked. 
After a while you start to realize that in just know a lot of the guys are just normal blokes and all the same.